After startup, you're presented with the application window and a single drawing window. These make up the user interface. The drawing window contains the drawing area, which is the largest component of the user interface. This is where you create and modify objects to represent your design. In the upper left corner of the drawing area are the viewport label menus. Here you control the number of viewports, toggle the display of the view cube tool, select a named or preset view, or select a visual style. The view cube tool located in the upper right corner of the drawing area allows you to rotate the view of your drawing to see it from a different viewpoint. Just above the view cube tool are the buttons to minimize, maximize, or close the drawing window. Below the view cube tool is the navigation bar. The navigation bar provides access to the steering wheel, pan and zoom tools, and other drawing navigation tools. Use the menu button located in the lower left corner to customize the navigation bar. In the lower left corner of the drawing window are controls for navigating layouts. Layouts control which area of the drawing to publish and at which scale. Above the drawing window is the ribbon. The ribbon organizes commands and tools into tabs and panels. For example, the draw panel on the home tab contains tools used to create basic and complex objects such as lines, circles, and ellipses, while the modify panel contains tools to modify objects such as move, copy, and rotate. Use the workspace control to change to a 3D modeling workspace to create surface, mesh, or solid models. In the upper left corner of the application window is the application button. Click the application button to create, open, or publish drawings, or to search for commands. To the right of the application button is the quick access toolbar. The quick access toolbar displays frequently used tools. You can easily customize this toolbar to include tools you most commonly use. In the upper right corner of the application window are the buttons to minimize, maximize, or close the application. In the lower left corner of the drawing area is the UCS icon, which displays positive directions of the X, Y, and Z axis. Below the drawing window is the command line. Use the command line to start a command or provide input for the current command. Press enter after typing a command name or input. Dynamic input, which is enabled by default, displays command prompts and input next to the cursor. At the bottom of the application window is the application status bar. The status bar displays the current coordinates of the cursor, common drafting aids, layout and view tools, annotation scaling tools, and workspace customization tools.